Today I'm going to show you how to create a new user account in Windows Vista. To get started, make sure you're logged in as an administrator, and go to the control panel. There, click on Add or Remove User Accounts. Here it will show you all of the accounts that exist on your computer. To make a new one, click on Create a New Account. Now you'll need to give the account a name. If you want the new user to be able to change any of your computer's settings, you can choose Administrator for the account type. But for most accounts, you'll want to stick with Standard User. Now click on Create Account. You'll see the new account appear on the list, and if you want to customize it right now, you can click on it. You can also do this later on when you're logged in as that user. If you want the account to be password protected, click on Create a Password, and enter a password for the account in the first two boxes. If you're afraid of forgetting the password, you can enter a password hint here. But remember that everybody who uses the computer will be able to see your password hint, so make sure it's something that's only meaningful to you. When you're done, click on Create Password, and the account will be password protected. Here you can also click on Change the Picture if you want to change the icon that appears for that user. Just click on one of the provided icons, or click on Browse for More Pictures to look for pictures on your hard drive. And when you're done, click on Change Picture. So that's how to create a new user account in Windows Vista.